Now this ancient philosophy will change your life. I know many people know that philosophies are based on experiences and they are also based on life as well. But this one speaks mainly about facts, science as well as religion. So I know you guys are not as based on science and as based on life experiences, especially on my channel, because on this channel we are very, very, very much religious and spiritual people. But I promise you, this philosophy will change your life. Lighting Truth TV. Now before we get started, do me a favor and drop a like on the video, it really helps a lot. And also leave a comment, tell us how you feel about this ancient philosophy. As you know, there are many, many ancient philosophies that we have created by different mighty people who have lived in times before ourselves and generations before ourselves. And without further ado, let's go and let's get it. So, what is this ancient philosophy that will change your life? drastically from right now in this present moment it is this simple what is impossible with men is possible with god i know you've heard this before and you're probably thinking this is going to be one of those cliche videos this is going to be one of those really 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 simple and you know videos that you see every day but i promise you what you're going to hear from this video will be life-changing and will change your perspective as far as how you see yourself and how you see your life so when we say what is impossible with men is possible with god let's put aside the religions for a bit the holy bible the holy quran let's put these two books aside a bit let's not okay i want to throw them away but let me just not throw them away literally i'm just saying for the purposes of this video I'm just gonna put them down okay now let's break down the word impossible i am p o s s i b l e right impossible let's break it down this word is based on two words it's made up of two words two words one speaks mainly about being speaks mainly about life right and the other one speaks mainly about an action it speaks mainly about activity now if we begin to break down the word impossible we begin to arrive to a certain extent where we have two words i am possible let me say that again i am possible now when you break down the word i am possible you begin to come up with two sections or two sectors from the word I am possible, which is self-actualization and self-realization. Now these two sectors or these two spheres bring you to a point whereby you come to realizing yourself, self-realization. You begin to self-actualize, you begin to self-aware, you begin to self-discover. And in you doing that, Many things will pop up, such as your purpose. Many people are still lacking on how to discover their own purpose. But once you begin to dwell into the word impossible and break it down to I am possible, according to this philosophy we are speaking about, what is impossible with man is possible with God, you will begin to discover your own purpose in life. You will begin to discover your own character. And even moving further from that, knowing who you are and being able to self-realize and self-actualize, that will also be able to alter your own existence. It will be able to alter your own reality. Time, as you know, it will begin to change for yourself because we all know we are living in different times, in different realities. Although we are living in the same matrix, although they say we are living in the same simulation, but your simulation will be far different from somebody else's simulation. Hence, we have things such as avatars. Your avatar will be living in a different time as per se to another person who has not yet self-actualized or self-realized who they are. So your reality can change once you live according to this mighty philosophy. What is impossible with man is possible with God. Now, for history-wise, for history purposes, for generational purposes, you guys know, the number one enemy that the enemy has been using against the world is to take away the knowledge of self. 
It is to trick people from moving away from the knowledge of self. I mean, in the olden times, it happened through colonization. It happened through slavery. It happened through apartheid. You can name them. And now in the modern times, it is happening through things such as social media, things such as music, addictions, pornography. All of these things are things that are taking you away from the knowledge of self. Because if you do not self-actualize, and if you do not self realize you will begin to move away from purpose you'll begin to become numb your brain will become numb and dumb to the fact that you must become a person who is living in the possibilities of a greater future hence i am possible moving from impossible to say that we will not fight the system we will not do anything to change the system you'll begin to live a life that says i am possible therefore i will do one two three and four to be able to reach a certain point once you begin to live according to this philosophy things will become simpler in terms of you acknowledging and knowing and acknowledging the fact that there are certain things that you can do that seem impossible with people around you. You know we are living in times whereby you might have a dream, you might try to achieve something. But in you trying to achieve something, other people might not have the same vision as you do. Hence the philosophy says, what is impossible with men is possible with God. Self-actualization, you begin to self-realize that God lives within you and you are an image of God. You are a direct replica of who God is. If you believe in the Bible, if you believe in the Holy Quran, you begin to understand that God breathed his living soul, his living spirit, his creative power within a human being. Therefore, I am possible being that God is already inside of you, being that you are a reflection of who God is, this philosophy changes your life entirely. I know this philosophy has changed my life drastically since I started being a content creator. I've seen how this philosophy can really, really push you to becoming your greater self and also push you to becoming a person who lives through purpose. If you feel the same way, please do me a favor before you leave. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new and much love. Peace.